Well, these scenes are more common across the country, including here at Channel 13. Yep, here are some of our producers. They were teleconferencing throughout the day today to put together this show. You know, I think when they got on those teleconferences, they didn't think we were going to snap their picture and put them <laughs> up on TV tonight. They're great sports. Every day here at 530, we are going to give you expert advice and how you, too, can tackle what has really become a new but temporary normal about how we go about our work day. Yeah, this afternoon I talked with a professor over at Butler University about how to be successful when working at home. Now, he recommends that you ask yourself some questions before getting started. What time do I get to the office? You know, the office is downstairs. I can pop down there super early. Uh, you know, what do I wear that day? Should I go ahead and clean up and, and, uh, and put on a professional image or is that required at this point? Um, and then I think the other critical challenge is just going to be who else in the house is needing to do the exact same things that you're doing. Um, when, what time do the children's classes start to the extent that they have uh, what we call a synchronous moment, a specific time where they jump in and work on a class together? Uh, your spouse or partner is probably a good chance they're home as well. Uh, what time do they need to check in? Do they actually have to have a meeting? Can I open this door without uh, ending up on somebody's video chat? Uh, those, I think, are the most immediate and pressing matters. And so now is a perfect time to have that conversation or that check-in with that employee and say, all right, how's it going? You've been out a couple of days here. Let's talk about what you've managed to get done. Uh, let's talk about what you're struggling to get done and where we need to be as an organization and you as a productive member of that organization. And understand that if they've missed a deadline uh, that you were expecting to have uh, nailed a couple of days ago, there's probably a pretty good reason or set of reasons why that was missed. And so you can offer that, um, that, that, uh, that bit of forgiveness, that bit of latitude and say, all right, understand why that happened. Uh, let's get back on it and see what we can do to make it happen and, and, and to specifically pick out that time frame where you think it should happen. You take a moment some point throughout the day um, and think about how you're feeling about things and you're really specific about stuff. You might actually spend a little bit of time naming, you know, what are the three frustrations I'm having right now? Uh, once you've articulated those, you've got those sort of top of mind in your brain, it makes it a little bit easier for you to get on and sort of address those issues. What, what is it that's holding me back? What are my roadblocks here? And, and get moving. Um, and in the same way, it's also very helpful in terms of taking a moment, particularly in this, you know, uh, with this crisis, just take a moment and, and think about three things that you really appreciate. And uh, it's a way of uh, sort of pulling away some of the negativity and focusing on uh, some good things that are happening for you, um, and it puts you in a better frame of mind, and you can keep keep working and keep keep being a good uh, parent uh, to the kids. Yeah, the Wi-Fi going down is one of the biggest frustrations that my family is experiencing right now as they try to do school and work from home. Now, the professor did recommend a couple of apps while you're at home. One of them is called Focus Time. It works like a timer. This aims to help keep you focused during a period of time. Then it rewards you with a break. There's also Rescue Time. That will tell you how much time you've spent on certain programs and software.